Pierre Aboud came home from Dubai to design this sculpture made from recyclable materials. It's his way of crediting Lebanon's women for being at the forefront of the so-called October Revolution. This artwork stands in Beirut's Martyrs Square, which has been taken over by opponents of the governing elite who have been demanding change. The corruption that is in this country want us to be violent. They are dragging us to be violent. But then the woman comes here and say, cool down, guys. I'm, I'm going to deal with those people. We are nice. Women have been on the front lines visiting strongholds of the mainly sectarian political parties, reaching out to their supporters who have attacked peaceful protesters. They say they are trying to keep the country united and avoid a return to the days of the civil war. There have been violent incidents, but the protest movement has remained largely peaceful. But there is also fear of a financial collapse. Banks are imposing controls on access to cash. There is a shortage of dollars, which resulted in the national currency, the lira, losing nearly 40 percent of its value on the black market. A political crisis is preventing the formation of a government that is needed to implement economic reforms. And those changes are required for international assistance to start flowing in. What we all have is one main goal, and that is an independent government from all the political parties. As long as we all stay together, and that's what we're just trying to keep a strong front on the ground with the same demands, and they'll just, they're going to be forced to listen sooner or later. So far, the governing alliance is refusing to give up political power despite almost two months of protests. Instead, they have tried to intimidate those in the streets. Thugs were literally out on the streets, smashing property, terrorizing, coming down to the, pro to the protest sites, pulling down uh, tents. And yet people's response was, we're not going to, you know, this is, uh, th this is we're not going to respond to this, we're not going to become sectarian. Protesters used what was left of the burned tents to build this statue, the Phoenix, a symbol of renewal and resistance. The message that they will continue the struggle that began on October the 17th. Zena Khudr Al Jazeera, Beirut.